You've seen headlines about uh, everything from hospital workers uh, in your home state, Frank. Upstate New York had to fire a lot of hospitals because some people were refusing to get the vaccine. Uh, there's headlines out of Chicago and L.A. where if they start mandatory mandating vaccines, you're going to lose a lot of the police force, up to 10 percent sometimes. So you have a deterioration there on that side, and it's only going to affect delays in products and the economics, and that's what we focus on here. We look through everything from an economical lens, and that's going to slow down earnings, and it's also going to hurt margins, which happens to be a good uh, topic, Frank, since we're in the heart of earnings season. Yeah, we are in the heart of earnings season, but... We're kicking off. Th- this this mandating the, ma- the, the vaccine, mandating it. I've always been careful, Daniel, with you. Not careful, but sensitive because everyone's so sensitive these days. You know, everyone's like a big baby when you offend them and you say something and it's like the biggest deal in the world. Oh, man. Back in, you know, I live in New York. If someone said anything, you fought them. And then, you know, a, a day later, you were hanging out with them again. Everything was cool. Now it's I'm offended forever and everybody's a baby. I'm not going to I'm not going to baby this. Mandating the vaccine must be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Since I've been alive. Uh, we are a free country. We have freedoms. You're mandating that people take a vaccine, and I'm not anti-vax. I have the vaccine. I'm forced. I was forced to get the vaccine because of the conferences I'm going to go to. I'm forced. I'm okay. I was able to look at the data and determine it, but I had COVID. And even with Delta, Delta doesn't impact people who had COVID as much as it does with when you had the vaccine. And when I see this, and some people are against this, Kyrie Irving's against it. He doesn't want to do it. They're like, well, you ain't playing basketball. Sorry, goodbye. Yeah, are, are you kidding me? I mean, you're forcing this, and you're force, absolutely forcing it because you're taking away the freedoms that we've had since America's been built. You can't go here. You can't go indoors. You can't, can't go, pretty soon, you can't get in on an airplane. Pretty soon, you, you know, you're not going to be able to go in any, any of these buildings. You're going to have to wear, like, you know, a lanyard around with the freaking vaccine card. And to actually do this, right? And it's funny because what's the argument for doing this, Daniel? What's the argument? Well, if you don't get vaccinated, you're hurting other people, which is complete, complete, complete bullshit. It's 100% false. If you talk to the scientists, they're like, well, it, then Delta and other, you know, other strains, it, it, they could work through your body quicker. And it, I got news for you. They're going to work through your body quicker even if you got the vaccine because it doesn't matter if you have the vaccine or not. If you don't have the vaccine and somebody does have the vaccine, I mean, you're being told, hey, 95% efficacy, you're fine, right? That's what we were told. Remember when we got the vaccine? Hey, why are you going to get the vaccine? Because everyone hates wearing masks. You don't have to wear a mask anymore. Okay. And plus, you won't get COVID again, right? Okay. We look now. People who got the vaccine are getting COVID. Now you're mandating everybody get the vaccine. Now you're saying not only do you have the vaccine, but if you're indoors in places like New York, California, you still have to wear a mask. What is it? Because it keeps changing and changing and changing. People are sick of it. If you want to get the vaccine, you get it. If you don't want to get the vaccine, don't get it. But to mandate it means there are people out there that are going to be like, F you. I'm scared to put this on my body. I had COVID. I have antibodies. There's not one doctor on the planet that could tell me how long those antibodies last. There's not one because we don't know yet. There's no data. So there's a shot that if you had COVID, you would never have to get the vaccine ever again. They won't. There's no there's, there's no data out there, right? That's an interesting data point. So there's people that, that feel like, hey, I had COVID and I don't want to get it. And what's going to result? Like you said, there's nurses that are, that are getting fired, not quitting. Some of them have to quit, but they're getting fired. You're seeing coaches uh, uh, in the NFL, you're seeing players now. I mean, what's going to come down to? Because right now the labor issues are crazy intense. What happens when we have doctors or nurses that aren't going to show up to work? What happens when we don't have policemen, which, again, liberals love that, right? Less police, this way you can go freaking nuts, right? Just to fund everything. But, and those are going to be the first people to call when their houses are getting robbed. Oh, can I have the police come? They shouldn't, you know what, Daniel? They should make a record of everyone that's in support of defunding the police. And if they ever get robbed, you automatically come up and say, sorry, we're not going to come to your house and help you. I mean that. That should that would be great. That would be great freaking policy. Huh. But I am so sick of sugarcoating this because if you want to get the vaccine, get it. There's people that should get it. And I'm going to go on further here with this rant. If they mandate that kids have to get the vaccine, oh boy, Biden should go away for murder. He should he 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 should go away for murder because there's 300 kids so far that die and half of those the CDC admits are probably not from covid related or other serious injuries there's more kids that die from the flu and you're not mandating flu shots you're mandating this i will guarantee 
I will guarantee more kids, if you take a three-year time frame from when you're mandated, will die from getting the vaccine than dying from getting COVID. And that news will come out. Because getting this, the kids, we have a lot of statistics of it. We saw that in most schools, not take take away colleges, take away over 17, under 17. How many have we seen like the virus spread throughout kid, kid? You hear about a kid getting it and then they put them in isolation or whatever. It doesn't, they don't carry, they carry differently. A lot of them are immune to it. Their systems, they don't, a lot of them have COVID and they don't even know it. But to mandate, now you're, but they're forcing a mandate for kids right now. I mean, wh- where do we live? I mean, what is, what are we doing here? You know, for me, it, again, I sugarcoat, I try to be sensitive. To There's no sensitivity around this, but. I'm bringing this up. This is a financial podcast. We have one of the biggest concerns are labor issues. People can't get other people to work. People used to working home. And now you're mandating. You're going to take a lot of people. Say if it's only 10%, you can't afford. You can't hire anyone now. If you take 10% of the people out of the workforce, which you're seeing those numbers go down, more and more people out of the workforce, what is that going to say for companies? It means that they have to raise prices in order to make ends meet even further, which is going to cause more and more and more inflation I mean, that's not a pretty scenario, and I think that this has to be an issue more and more people talk about if we're mandating, if we're going to mandate that everyone has to get the vaccine, and they're mandating it because if you don't, you can't enjoy the freedoms which so many people died for to give us for this country anymore, and that's what they're taking away from you. It's crazy. Yeah, it's anyway. beyond crazy. Two two quick points on that. Uh, Kyrie Irving, uh, it was $400,000 a game. Did I did I see it and read that read that correctly, Frank? It's about four hundred grand a game he makes. That he's uh, gonna have at, to... at least. I mean, his contract is. I mean, I'll look it up. He's one of the biggest contracts, and he should have one of the biggest contracts because he's one of the best players. He's one of the best players in the league. But think about that guy to give up that much money is just he, for. Is his he beliefs. continuing to hold out? I, I'm not up to date. As on of that. right now, yes. Okay. And okay. his team's like, oh well, you know, you know, we got to practice. We got to move on without him, and and because they they're actually favored with Kyrie Irving, and and if they, those guys didn't get hurt, I think it was Kyrie got hurt. Durant was. Hurt early in the season, and Hard was playing like a one leg, but they would have won a championship pretty easily over, over Milwaukee. But oh, they're favored to win it all. They're favored to win it all. Okay. Yeah, they, and they do. They have the best team. They're great. Nice. And now that changes things. So they're like, oh, we're gonna have to move. But this is a guy that believes in it so much to lose that much money per game and and get punished for it. And he's not telling people, hey, you're an idiot for getting vaccinated. He's not right. saying, oh, you're an idiot vaccinated. There's people that need to get vaccinated. Of course, we know if you're over 6, 65 and you have underlying conditions, of course. If you have underlying conditions, if you're younger than that, you should get vaccinated, of course. But for us to tell people that don't want to get vaccinated that had COVID already, where a doctor, not one doctor, not one, can tell us how long those antibodies work. And if you think I'm wrong, just Google it. Gottlieb and and Fauci are the two that the whole entire world listens to. And even they say, we're not, they both came on, we're not too sure how long they last. You know, we see that count going down a little bit. We're not too sure. It could last nine months. It could last two. Who knows? But the fact that you don't know that and you're mandating it, I mean, again, this isn't about anti-vax. This isn't about vaccine. This isn't about Democrats, about Republicans. But the separation that our politics and the people in politics are, are just what we're doing right now to, to make sure that there's conflict, that people hate each other, that I have to go on this podcast and get this pissed off about something like this, where it should be up to you. If you want to get it or not. And if you don't and you get COVID and you die, that's you. That's up to you. That's your fault. That's your responsibility. But, I mean, it's a crazy world out there. And we have to bring it up on this podcast, Daniel, because it is going to impact companies going forward. You're seeing it right now. You're seeing even and even going further with, with the massive profits. I mean, I don't know if you had anything else to say to this because I've been yeah, I got one more point here. the whole time. I, well, I, I like this. This is funny. But uh, we are capitalists here. And so I got to ask you an honest question. So you're vaccinated. I'm not. So we're a good team here. We're balancing out. Now, when they make it to where I can't buy groceries and such without the vaccine, how much are you going to charge me to deliver groceries or do my orders? Because you're, we're all capitalists here. So I, I need it on record. Is it 10%? Is it five? Think of the Uber. Uber had it best. Uber delivery, Uber eats. They're, they're ahead of the game. They're just waiting on the vaccine thing. You know what I'm going to do, though? Since every place else is mandated to get the vaccine, if you don't want it, I'm going to cut your salary by 25%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, where are you going to go, Daniel? You can't work anywhere. What? There's no place you can work anymore. I'm telling you, it's fun to grow up on a podcast because uh, <laughs> I don't want to go back to being dead broke, but I know I can survive. <laughs>